I'm gonna check out. I've decided I'm gonna make this a 24 hour vlog. We're, in, we're 12 hours down. Mm -hmm. I am gonna make this part one. I'm signing off. Part two. <coughs> part two. Tomorrow, we're going mud crabbing. We're going mm. exploring around the bay. And I'll show you a bit of behind the scenes of how we film an episode. So I'll see you then. Cheers. Good morning. So uh, my eye seems a little bit better this morning. It's still not, still not perfect, but it's definitely better. So hopefully a bit more cleaning and whatnot, it'll be better. Now, um, uh, I put a bit of a sleep in, it's about quarter past seven. Uh, beautiful day down here, uh, I'll show you. But there's crap everywhere as usual. Usual stayed up drinking beers and that shit everywhere. It's fine, it's just part of the routine. But first, I've actually got to do some work before the boys wake up. So I'll grab my laptop out, um, plug it into the inverter and do a little bit of work. Uh, just online store stuff, I'm just trying to have a battle with Ozpost to try and get it to work so I can get the bloody merch out. All right, I'll do that now. Packing the um, the esky and whatnot, so we've got to always put cold teas in the esky, and then we'll fill this one up with um, with warm tins. Okay. Limited ice, but unlimited power. Power. <coughs> Shade. And this is a pretty, this is a pretty crap esky. It's better than like an esky esky, but it's a pretty pretty average ice box. It's like eighty five bucks. A little Wanderer one from BCF. Don't recommend. BCF yeah, that does the, it does the job. I just got it last minute because I needed a, an esky the right size for your boat. I've got a Red Roads one that thing's killer, and that. Not even close, it's not even in the same league. Mm. So what kind of boat prep have we got to do, Harry? Do you think we need nets or...? Yeah, we have to bait the nets. We've got to bait the nets and we've got to... Um... That was a bad idea in the box. I was just going to fly the car. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Wind is bad. Don't die. Yeah, good call. Nice dolphin. Yeah, just leave it on it. You might move this so I don't put even more holes in it. It's already got a few little burn holes on it. Still work. Um, yes, we need to bait our nets. Uh, we need to pull the boat off, yep. assemble it. Pull the motor out, yep. put the bloody chairs in, all that stuff. So, shall we um...
Red can. Red can. 11.3 litres of bloody premium. We haven't got that much here, really. Plenty for this little fella. Oh, look, mate, this thing uses like nothing. Simpson. This is about a month. Oh, of course. Yeah. Alright, let's see if it starts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never in doubt. You did it! You can barely hear it. Alright, wanna jump in? Yeah, the boys. You in, mate? Yeah. Jump in once. <laughs> it needs a little bit of time to actually warm up. I reckon this thing's got three hours on it, maybe two. Like, totally. Brand spankers. Yeah. country it's getting really fun Make sure you don't throw it on top of any branches because then it won't hit the bottom. Or should we pull it off again? That's fine. A few tins later. Alright, the report is uh, we decided to go back and resupply, get a few more beers and some uh, speaker and all that kind of stuff to make fishing a little more comfortable. Uh, and the, there's a bit more swell, so you can't really see it, but there's some little sort of crashing waves. We're not going to be able to get the boat on shore at our campsite. Uh, in its current situation, so in the current, um, yeah, the current weather situation, which is not very bad, it's, and it's fine. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the boat up solo to the end, and it's just over there to the to the point, so we can get, pull in in the creek, and the boys are just going to hitch the trailer on 
um, and bring the car up to the end. So it should be easy. And um, yeah, we'll see you there. Alright, boys are back, got the car, got the trailer, got everything. Can you pass me an empty tinny for Monday? I'm going to show the people the size of this thing. Here you go. This is Brilliant. an absolute belter <laughs> sized butt. So I didn't even have to look underneath to know he's, he's male. Get the pails. Size yeah, of his baby. Bloody paws. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. That double nipper wow. buck. That is massive. <laughs> How good is that? Yes. We're eating tonight, fellas. I'd, like, I'm going to measure him to be sure, but I guarantee that size. Yes. Do you guys need a tinny? I yes. do need a tinny, well, especially after that. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tinny tinny after. Also, it's bad to get a lot more hazardous to get a tinny. <laughs> yeah. Danger tins are the best yeah, kind of tins. Yeah, something like that, Harold. I think it might be us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, get your out. A few minutes later. Oh, the biggest one ever! That is the biggest mud crab I've ever caught. <laughs> oh boy! It's the biggest oh, crab ever! Shit. Oh my god! That's the biggest mud crab I've ever caught in my life. It's trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's fucking fucking you, you big unit! <laughs> Holy moly! Oh my god! Oh that my is god! Ridiculous! Dude! <laughs> what the? <laughs> This is insane. Okay, we put we this did. one up to a can. My God. Far oh, out, mate. That is a big unit. Oh, this my God. Tinny. I've got a white tinny here. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, my oh. good God. Oh. Hey. That is oh, a no. serious crab. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at the meat and the claws. It's heavy, too. Like, this is a full crab. Oh, so some, sometimes the year they're not that full. This is full. Oh my god. This guy's never lost a fight. That is the biggest. 
that biggest crab ever. is wild. Oh my look at this, look at this. Ready? Come on, bite it. You didn't it sometimes like, that will actually eat you. Look at that big boss. God, dude. That is wild. He's... <laughs> Put a hole in it. <laughs> Gee whiz. Just put the can in with him. You can have it, fella. Enjoy that. Here's your play toy. Oh my god. So, <laughs> we're back. Yeah. Gonna flush the motor quickly. I think you're right. pretty much always do. It's just like, it's like the only best thing ever. But you don't need it. It's a want. Yeah. But it is it's great. Expensive bit of kit. Yeah. So, what we do? Remove the, the poo hose. <laughs> this is a bit of Hunting's bidet hose. Put on a um, tap fitting. The end. It's gonna come through. Turn her on. Have you got the water? Yeah. Away we go. Bingo bango done so. Done. Flushed. Flushed. Say so. Alrighty. Met some really cool people. Guys from Jero. Travelling around. And uh, we're going to throw the little porter boat on the trailer and go back to camp. So, we'll see how that goes. Okay. Sorry to interrupt the video, but my cookbook is now available for pre-orders. That's right, I have written a cookbook. It's over 200 pages, uh, about 65 recipes. Uh, it's got a guide for how to cook create a pantry like this it's got a gear guide it's got a whole bunch of cool stuff this has probably taken me about four years uh, so it's something I'm very proud of it's something I worked very hard at um, and I think you'll love it it's sort of a semi hard cover it's about this big <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't got one to show you I missed the courier literally by about 10 minutes this morning I'm so annoyed uh, anyway the next video I'll have a physical version to show you if you want one link down below in the description uh, or just go to my website, fightafork.net, and you'll be able to pre-order it there, um, and they'll be delivered at the end of June. Thank you so much. All right, we're back at camp. We found some um, found some extra firewood on the way back. It's pretty trash wood, to be honest. It's like that crappy paperback stuff. So we're just throwing that in the fire. Uh, all we want is a thin bed of um, kind of ashy coals, thin coals because we're going to just cook these mud crabs very simply. So, we also need a bucket of water. And when you're going to go to get a bucket of water, you may as well go for a bloody swim. That's exactly what we're going to do. The boys are also going to with beers because, you know, we're going to throw some beers. Oh, where the hell's my bucket? There it is. Marine bucket. Carry a marine bucket, I highly recommend it. Never ever ever get one with a welded bottom. You want single piece, spun. See? All one piece. 
last forever. I uh, get them from marine shops, mm, kind of 25 to $40, but you know, you buy one bucket. Yes, you can get a bu bucket at Bunnings for a dollar, but like that lasts like a week. Anyway, I'm going for a swim. Bloody hell, it's hot. I love swimming with my shirt on. Not because I'm ashamed of my shit rig. Just because I get a really nice wet shirt for the next couple of hours afterwards. It's fantastic. Ah, it's so good. So we don't like that crispy, salty shirt. But I, I'm, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I just feel like I've done something. I might leave this bucket here because I don't want to go swimming with that. I not in the water. Oh, my eye seems to be getting a little bit better. A little bit swollen, but a touch better. Whew, little sharks and a little stingray there. So much life in the Kimberley. So much life. Starving in the Kimberley. You're not trying hard enough, but you lack skills. Oh. Bloody magic. Oh, I feel a million bucks. Oh, this beautiful breeze. Got my bucket of water. Feel great. Oh, back up to camp. Cook some mud crab. I haven't actually eaten all day. And it's like two. So, pretty keen. Pretty bloody keen to eat some mud crab. Uh, we're knackered. What we like to do is make a ronda. A ronda is one third rum, one, th oh, not quite. One part rum, two parts ginger beer, one part coffee, bit of lime, and if you have it, a little bit of bitters. But the bitters are not essential. The bitters are just kind of nice if you fucked it. Hopefully it hasn't fucked it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers everyone. Uh, this one was stirred this time. Help me, Rhonda. Alright, you didn't fuck it. Why not? Nice. Alrighty. We have had a Rhonda. Gone for another quick swim to relax us. These crabs are dead. And they're going to go straight on this little bed of coals. Oh, that crab's not dead. He's had to move. Alright, I'm going to make him dead. The other crab, I'm pretty sure, is dead. Nah, he's alive as well. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I mean this one, this green is just gigantic. Yeah, it's a big unit. Bring him over here. Done. He's well and truly dead. Oh shit. Step on the bloody fire. Shit. Okay. I'm upside down first. Same, same with this guy. Cleave. He's got limp. <laughs> and just give them about, I don't know, five or six minutes kind of thing. And um, then we'll flip them over. Beauty. So I was thinking about doing a little bit of a dipping sauce for these guys. So one that I know of that's very, very easy is just 50-50 um, you know, normal sweet chili sauce and lime. So I'm just gonna chuck in I don't know, that much sweet chili kind of thing. What's that? I don't know. 100, a bottle. 150 ml. Um, now, fresh lime juice is obviously best. If you have, if you don't have that, then some other kind of lime juice will be fine. Not sweet lime juice, obviously, but like one of those little bottles you can buy. Uh, they're not gonna be great, but they'll, they'll do okay. Yeah, just squeeze these guys in. So I probably need to use four limes or something to kind of maybe, 
Maybe all those lines. These are the ones we got on the side of the road on the way up. Bloody amazing. It's been like three or four minutes. Just check them. Looking pretty red. There's a bit of breeze around, so that'll um, help them along. Yep. They're looking good. Uh, let's have a little taste. Uh, quite a lot of limes. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of. They ought to put like a uh, little bit of fresh garlic in there as well, just to liven it up a little bit. We have some fresh chili up there in there too. Yeah, there we go. In fact, you know we'll do both of those things. Sriracha. Sriracha's got heaps of garlic in it. It's got heaps of chili in it. Nah, it's gonna go well. Have a taste of that, mate. Mmm. Wow. I would not Beautiful. have expected that from the sweet chili sauce. Mm. With lime. Yeah, I reckon that'll, that'll be good. Taste that good. I reckon that'll taste good. Excellent. I agree. That's great. Alright, these crabs are bloody nearly ready. Dunk them in, call the meat, so it falls off the bone and... Oh, shit. Okay, nice and all red. Well and truly. Barely fits in a bloody bucket. But it's not a problem I've had before. Monstrous. Okay. Bring him over here. Oh, we lost the legs. The sweetest meat. How are we for Ginny's, fellas? I love one, mate. Is it time? I think so. Yeah. What do you like, Harry? Uh, some sort of a colonial. I think a whitey, ideally. Yeah. Cold, if it was a cold one. Not much cold. I'll take the sides of the fridge. That one's pretty cold. Drink it. Yeah. Oh, what about in the and the esky? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be yeah, cold. Yeah. Underneath us. Give me that white one. <laughs> oh. Good. Oh my god. Look at that. Excited is the biggest understatement of my life. Here you go, winner. Have a little try on its own, and then give them, then give them a dip. Mm. Got yellows. It's good mate, isn't it? Mm. Let me in. Dunk. Get it warm. Yeah. <laughs> Back of the cave is good. Oh, give me some of that. Oh mate. Oh my god. Good in the sauce? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that is speechless. Proper. I'm speechless with how good that is in the oh, sauce. That's so hot. It's hot and it's delicious by oh, itself and it's hot. delicious in the sauce. That is a thick shell. Yeah. Oh my god. I can see that. Oh, two yeah. Two or three mil thick. By the way, that's off the small crab. Was oh, is that the small Gee. Come on. So There's just eye watering amounts of meat in the claws. Yeah. Beautiful. You never think two crabs, oh yeah, they'll feed three of us, no worries. Oh, I'm trying to get a bit too advanced that big. Are these cold fills? Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> yeah, it is hot. Cool Ooh. down, please. I oh my god, you. that sauce with it is incredible. It's so good, isn't it? <laughs> wow! I just pulled that out of my ass, basically. I've, I've, I've used that with fish before, but I've yeah. never used no, it with crabs. Mine, mine would be. It's it's actually just, those are just the ingredients we had. It's sweet, it's yeah. sour. Yep. Rich. Oh, Holy crap. Getting through that is hard. Goodness oh goodness. Look at the juice. Come on boys, grab it. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
That is so good. Wow. That's a better that's better than the small one. Usually the small one's sweeter, but the green is just nicer. Can we get some more of these soon, Harry? We certainly wow. can. The next spot. Yeah. Next spot, which location we don't talk about. But fortunately, you won't see that in the cooking video because we've already done pretty much all the mud crab recipes I know. <laughs> it's just going to be us eating mud crabs off camera. <laughs> if you like these vlogs, please let us know in the description. A bit, bit of fun. It's, it's not like a serious trip video. It's just kind of a little behind the scenes almost. This is uncut. This is one of the more oh, yeah. delicious These things I've ever had. Sorry, Fire sorry to kids watching. Uncut. Sorry to the kids watching about all the swearing. Dirt down here. Yeah, break it off, is it? Just follow the natural uh, mm. locations. Mm. The top of the claw. On this side. Yeah, wherever you want. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> wow. My word. My word. A few more tins later. Alright, we've decided to go for a little bit of a walk. It's the afternoon. It's nearly sunset. And it's bloody stunning. What do you reckon, Dolphin? Uh, you can get used to. This sort of living, Joshy. <laughs> BCF and fun. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah, mate, pretty good, I reckon. Cheers, boys. So, we're going to see if there's any wildlife. We'll take you along with us. But I doubt there is. Got the and ourselves, almost. Except for that guy. Yep, in that the plane. over there. The plane. Hello, Mr. Plane. We found absolutely nothing interesting. Uh, it was, it was beautiful, hot. absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Boys are lighting a thermocell because that is going to be essential. Yes, I do have a guy rope here because he was probably blowing about, I don't know, uh, 40, 35 k's an hour at one point, and it will hold up to that. But kind of why put it through that extra stress when you can just put one rope in for the whole day? And also, what if it gusts? to 60 or 70. I don't know what's going to happen. But look outside here. This is absolutely heaven. Big helicopter up there. Where it is? I can't really see on the screen. Look at that. Uh, these bloody god, these swags are good. So bloody good. Uh, companion 200 watt solar panel uh, has been really, really good. I would say two fridges, including a freezer. I, next time I'm going to bring more solar. I'll bring my extra 100 watt blanket. This is cool. Rescue helicopter. Wonder if he wants to be friends with my drone. He's about to find out. No, seriously, don't put your drone up around helicopters, it's a really bad idea. Get the get this guy. Yeah boy. Helicopter's coming. Woo! Hey friend! Someone must be hurt. There's something going on. Something going on. Anyway. Uh now. You're going to get to see, not right now because it's uh, still very buggy. Once the bugs go away, I'm going to try and give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes of how a cooking episode is filmed. Um, there's not tons that goes into it, like the actual process is all one take, uh, but it's more about, I guess, the setup, what goes into getting the light right and making it so you can actually see the bloody thing. That chopper's gone away. God, it's beautiful. Look at that. Just. All right. Santic. And we're back. Uh, the mozzies were nowhere near as bad as we thought tonight. So that's really positive. 
My eyes look not great, but not offensive enough to not film an episode, although I'm sure I'll get some comments that say otherwise. It's all right. If I got offended by every comment on YouTube, I wouldn't do YouTube. Um, so, how do I set up for a YouTube episode? I'll show you. 240 volt Arlec work lights. Uh, they're the warm ones, which is kind of weird because my normal cap lights are cool lights, but it kind of, it's somehow, for some, it somehow works. Like you, you kind of get this balanced light with the two. Now they are plugged into, let's have a look. Oh, there's a lot of crap in here. Uh, hey bud. Hey mate. Uh, they are plugged into my inverter, which is behind the seat. So it's a Red Arc 1500 watt inverter. There's a little bit of a delay actually, it's quite funny. And then, but there we go. <laughs> I don't know why there's such a delay. Just as the inverter like winds up, withdrawing it. So you can kind of see, this is where I stand. Cool light, warm light, sort of works somehow. Uh, now, we need to stage the background. So what I'm going to do is, Monsieur, mm -hmm. can you please go uh, over there with, with your chair? And can you grab my chair and go next to you? Now the reason I'm doing this is not because I don't want to show people how we normally cap. It's so that I have free rain. Uh, if I'm bumping into people and getting in people's way, it's really annoying uh, for everyone. Especially me and I lose my train of thought, which is which happens very easily. Um, so to have it all set up so that I can go from here to there very quickly uh, is crucial. There's a can in there. Um, back of the car is set up. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get out my key ingredients. I'm also going to wash my hands thoroughly because they're covered in, you know, mozzy bites and... Oh. Sorry, not mozzy bites, mozzy repellent and all that kind of stuff. So right, can I go around right here? Huh? Go wherever you want. Go wherever you want, mate. So... Wilderness wash from Cedar Summit is my go-to. It's because it's super, super, super concentrated. Um, I can use next to nothing, and you get a really good lather, and it just works really, really well. And it's good for the you know land rights for gay whales and all that. Um, so. Quick wash off. Now, I want to get my key ingredients out because I don't want to be faffing on camera, even though I still faff a lot. So, in here is my, my big, um, uh, it's my big pantry drawer. Oh, drawer. My big pantry um, case, which is a large crush pad thing. What do I need? I need black bean sauce. Tonight we're doing beef and black bean, which won't be on YouTube until after this video, I think. Uh, I think that's all I need from here. Unless there's ginger in here. Uh, might be ginger. No, no ginger in that. My ginger is either in my little pantry or the fridge. So, this is my staples pantry. From here, I need some red wine vinegar. Um, GF soy, red wine vinegar. There. Some garlic. Probably just, I always get a little bit more of each ingredient I need. I need some Evo. Is there. Have you boys seen the ginger? Yeah. Is it in the, the fridge? Is it in the fridge? Yeah. Alright, cool. We'll be in the fridge. So, 
fridge. There's a chili. I need a chili. I usually keep this for my fresh ingredients, which is empty now, so I'll go in here. All right, and we have some bok choy, which got a little bit hammered, to be honest. That's not looking great. That, that one can go in the bin. But over, other than that, it's fine. Oh, and if I have bok choy, that means, so, uh, means I need oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. And I'll also crack all these seals before I cook. What's that? Oh, I'm He's having a scratching good scratching his mossy pie. I'm having a good mossy pie scratch. <laughs> it's quite, um, <laughs> yeah. That, like. Make sure they've got no caps like this one. Lay this all out. Uh, I usually keep this handy. Oh, fried shallots need that. I usually keep this handy just in case. Uh, salt and pepper I need in basically every meal. And then put it down below me, semi unzipped. Uh, because inevitably I will have forgotten something, even though I have a bit of a think about it before. Hands still smell good, so we're going well. Uh, now, utensils. I need to put my grill on there, so I'll go get my grill. Which is in the front of the trailer. <laughs> Hold up a sec. Yeah. Uh, chuck the grill on. Jeez, this bag has saved my ass for that. The colour of it is just like red. Plenty of pin down. Plenty of pin down. Plenty of pin down on that one. Grid that life. Is, that thing is a machine. So good. I love it. Yeah, that's a pick of the bunch. So, the other thing I need is a fry pan. So I'll go in here, turn my extra light on. Fry pan's actually quite hard to get to. Oh, I need a chopping board. My washing up tub. Pull all this stuff out. And the fry pan is at the very bottom. The boys are just talking about how good the grill plate is. It's really funny. I love hearing them talk about stuff in the background. Because I have obviously a lot of gear. And they love some of it. They love most of it actually. Um, you just see them for a couple of beers being like, mate, like how do you even go camping without it? It's just you can't you just can't do it. You need it. You need it. It's essential. So funny. Love it. Alright. Oh, and I also grabbed this. It's my like bag of utensils. So that stuff's coming with me. Knife out of there. That can go up there with everything else. All this shit that I leave up there. Um, I reckon I'm ready to do an episode. So, what I'll do is I'll cut in a little bit from the actual episode that I'm doing. Um, but this guy, this GoPro that I'm holding is going to sit up here above me, attached to that awning pole, because it's sitting on, hold on, showing what my GoPro is sitting on. My GoPro's been sitting on this guy. So this guy goes upside down on here 
then they clip the GoPro on, adjust him, get him perfect, so I get a bird's eye view of what I'm chopping. And that is how you cook yourself a, cook yourself a YouTube video. All right, I'll see you soon. Welcome back to Fire to Fork. Today, we are doing one of my easiest, quickest recipes in that. On that, like a weeknight at home, I'd be very impressed with myself, let yeah. alone on a camping trip. <laughs> yeah, you get so much um, value out of the crispy shallots. The, the shallots and the ginger. Oh. And that concludes today's vlog. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, there's some dirty dishes. Boys still eating. <clears throat> I cooked, so they're gonna clean. This is great, works for me. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Let me know if you like these vlogs. Uh, I'm not obviously gonna do them regularly because I don't travel regularly. Uh, but if you do enjoy them when I'm traveling with friends and doing these big trips, please let me know. Um, and if, if you do, I will continue to do them because they're quite easy to film. The editing pro process is still yet to be seen. Hopefully that's, it. that's quite straightforward as well because I'm not planning on cutting much out. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.